Hey guys, this is me, Hamza6151, and today I'm going to show you my homemade vendor graph generator, which can generate up to 50,000 volts of static electricity. It's really easy to make, and I'll also show you, you know, how it's made and what other parts you need. So let's get started. So this is the vendor graph generator. That's the actual dome, but I'm using a coke can because I couldn't find the dome where I live. So basically there's a motor which is 24 volt DC, you can use any motor and then there's a roller which is in this PVC pipe, you can use any pipe but I'm just using it to hold the rubber in place. There are two rollers, uh, the top one is aluminium, it's a metal and the bottom one is uh, a plastic, it's probably just a vinyl tape you know, wrapped around a motor's pulley gear and then there's a rubber in between and so the uh, motor you know spins the rubber around and when that happens you know the plastic surface is touching the rubber surface which actually charges the motor so then when it when it charges you know this is earth so as you can see if I zoom in there's a wire which is not actually touching the rubber but it's like just in just behind uh, beside the rubber and it's collecting all those electrons and grounding them which only leads us with the positive charge which travels up the belt and goes in this aluminum so this also gets charged and the same is on the top there's a wire that is not touching but like just above the rubber which is acting as you know uh, an electron uh, elevator and when, when the charge passes through the wire it goes in this metallic dome and it all becomes positively charged and when it turns on you can see that there's a huge electric yeah, field huge magnetic on right on now this water is actually connected to a uh, power supply and adjustable power supply is actually on. I'll just have to connect the motor here to the alligator clip. So let's start it. All right. So it's running right now. And this is just the homemade electroscope I created. It tells you if the object is charged or not. So believe it or not, if you bring it near to the vendor graph generator, it actually starts to, uh, there you see, the magnetic field around is so huge that it's, you know, from just like this distance, it's it's moving apart and I'm just going to bring it back because this might go back. So as you can see, the magnetic field is so huge that even from this distance, they are showing that this, like, whole field around this is charged. So let me go, I'll show you the earth. I'll try to earth the dome. With this, I just made it with an aluminum. It's all wrapped around and it goes to the earth. This is connected to the earth, which is the earth wire, and it goes to the plug. It's not actually on because the live wire will get current in it. And this is also connected to the same earth, and this is all connected to the same earth. So I'll earth it now, and you'll see the effect. There, you heard the spark. I'll do it another time. I don't think if you can see the spark, but it's about an inch. So that means like an inch is about 50,000 volts. Okay, let me turn off the lights and I'll show you how it looks, how the sparks look. Let me just turn it on and then... There we go, it's on now. And I'll let it get charged for about a while and then now let's see what happens. There, I, I think it's still that one. That's a good one as well. If you like the video, rate, comment and subscribe. And one more thing, if you want to know more about the Vendor Graph Generator, I'll put a link on the video and in the description below where you can check out how a Vendor Graph Generator works in depth. That video is really good and see you next time. Bye.